All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic algorithm scripting, return largest numbers in arrays. All right. So now we're going to return an array consisting of the largest number from each provided subarray. Okay. Uh, for simplicity, the provided array will contain exactly four subarrays. All right. So we're going to remember that we can iterate through an pardon me, through an array with a simple for loop and access each member with array syntax R and I. All right. So I'm sure. Anyway, guys, let's let's knock this out. So clearly we got to iterate through this uh, array of arrays. All right. So let's just start off with by putting the for loop right there. So let's say for. Let I equals zero while I is less than R dot length. We'll say I plus plus. All right. And so for this one, now we're going to have to iterate through these as well. So we're going to have to not only do array at uh, zero, one, zero, one, two, three, but we're going to have to do array at zero, one, pardon me, zero, one, zero, two, pardon me, zero, all right. Zero, 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 one, zero, two, zero, three, one, zero, one, and then so on. You get it. Anyway, uh, so let's make another for loop inside of here. So let's say for let j equals zero, while j is less than r at i dot length. We'll say j plus plus, okay? And let's set it up like this. All right, so now we've got that. So what are we going to do, okay? Uh... Well, we've got to push the largest of these numbers into an array. So we're going to have to make a result variable regardless. That's an empty array. So let's come up here and say let result equal an empty array thusly, right? And so now that we've got that going on, we're going to also have to compare each one of these to the maximum of it. But the thing is, uh, we can't just compare this one to nothing. So we're going to have to make the max something to begin with. So let's come down here and let's say inside of this for loop, we're going to inside the first for loop, we're going to say let max equal R at I at zero. So it's always going to have these as the maxes to begin with. And since we're already going to be we're going to be starting off. We already have these as the max. We can just start off at one now, right? So let's change this to one. So now we've got let j equal one. We're going to start at index one on each of these and then go through go through the whole thing. All right, cool. So now we've got that going on. <coughs> Pardon me. We're going to have to compare, right? So let's make an if statement inside of this for loop, inside of the second for loop. We'll say if max is less than r at i at j what we're going to do is say max now equals r at i at j so it's replacing whatever the max is with whatever the bigger number is when we compare them okay so now that we've got that taken care of hold on a second I didn't do this if statement well enough. Make sure it looks like that. How about that? All right. So now we've got that going on. So now if now whenever we get the max, so this for loop is going to find the max regardless. So what we're going to do outside of this for loop, once we find the max, we're going to say result dot push max. OK, so in this one, it's going to iterate through and it's going to find out that five is the max. And then we're going to push the max into there. And then after this for loops done iterating through that one, it's just going to reset the max up here to whatever the next uh, R at I at zero is. Hopefully that makes sense for you. So let's come down here and say return result, and let's wrap up largest of four and all this in parentheses and say, console with the sign console dot log and we can see that's not right <laughs> all right so where did we go wrong okay so i put this 
inside of this for loop, it should be outside of this for loop. So let's get this, do a little control X action and do a little control V action right here. And now we see 527, 39, 101. All right, let me bring this one back so it looks a little better. So 527, I might've said 37, whatever. 27, 39, 1001 right there. Okay, so look, it works, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? That's a little bit much, don't you think? That's a little more typing than we'd like to do. That's a little bit more thinking than we would like to do. Uh, well, I'd like to do, I don't know about you. Maybe you're done with the video right now. You got the answer, but if you're not, we got some more stuff right here, all right? So let's comment this thing out like this. And we can come down here and we can do this ES6 style. So let's say const like this. Let's get largest to four. Copy that, throw it in right here. We'll say A equals A for array. And then we're gonna have the arrow right there, right? So we've got this array right here. So if you watch the last video, you know about the, well, you, at least you're familiar with the map method. But if not, what we're gonna do is use the map method on this. And so the map method is a method of array instances created, pardon me, the map method of array instances creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array. So basically, it's like doing a for loop, but without, but with a lot less typing. So like right here, we've got this array right here. So we do array dot one, pardon me, array one dot map. And so this X is the argument for this, uh, that this map's looking for. And then we have the uh, arrow right there for the function. And so the X is basically like R at I, okay? Is basically array one at I, okay? So we're gonna say X times two. So the one times two is now two. The two, the four times two is now eight. Nine times two is 18. 16 times two is 32. And as you see right here, when we run it, we get it, we get the array like that. So we're gonna come down here and say A, start off by saying a dot map okay and we're going to do the e and we're going to do the arrow right there so now we're not going to just do e times two because that's ridiculous uh what we're going to do here is as we remember from the es6 section we're going to use the math.max static method which returns the largest numbers pardon me the largest of the numbers given as input parameters all right so we'll say something like this we'll say e and then we'll wrap the e in parentheses like this and we'll say math.max, all right? But you see, we've got a bunch of NANDs. If you saw the last video, you know how to fix this already. But if you don't remember, we've got the spread syntax, which allows an iterable such as an array or string to be expanded in places where zero or more arguments for function calls, that's what we're doing, or elements are expected. Because remember, math.max is looking for comma separated values. And this is, let me, bring out that these are arrays right now so let's say in front of this e since each one of these is an array we'll say a dot a dot a dot and you see we've got the 527 39 101 and i guess i didn't say this but you can see right here when we just have the e it just gives us the array with the arrays in it already so now we've got the uh 527 39 1001 uh just like the answer to this very long one. And so we're good to go. Let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. And this might be a little confusing, guys. Uh, if you've already seen the, the videos before, you, you can just skip past this part. You know what's coming. But if you haven't seen it or you forgot, just come on over here to Code Wars if, you, if you're having trouble, okay? Uh, make yourself an account. There's these, uh, the, all these are much easier than these ones we've been doing on this uh, channel so far, on, on the uh, free code camp so far. Uh, and you can just come over here, go to the difficulty, just choose 8Q, those are the easiest right there. And you can see all these right here. And I pretty much got videos on all of them if you need help uh, or need me to explain them even more. You can just check those out and if you don't, uh, like the videos, just tell me, I'll redo it. And if it's if I don't have a video up, just tell me and I will do it, right? So that being said, now we're on to confirm the ending and we'll see you next time.